Today, I'm showing you how to make garlic confit. This is a very easy recipe that I see made overcomplicated a lot. You don't need a 10 minute tutorial for this. To quote the guy from the DeVry commercial in the early 2000s, quit making it complicated, it's easy. To start off, you'll need to peel some garlic. I'm using two and a half cloves because that's what I had in my cupboard, but you can adjust this recipe to make less or more so long as you follow the same method. I'm peeling all my cloves, then getting them into a roasting pan. I'm using a small knife to slice off the hard base of each clove before I get them into the pan, but if you don't want to, you don't have to do this step as the little base of each garlic clove will soften up quite a bit when it cooks. Now I'm just pouring over a neutral high smoke point oil. You can use peanut oil, canola oil, whatever you have on hand. I'm not using or recommending olive oil for this because it's getting cooked for a long period of time and I find that tends to really bring out a lot of bitterness in olive oil. But whatever oil you end up using, you want to use enough to cover the cloves completely and so that they are just floating and the cloves aren't sitting on the bottom of the pan. From here, cover the pan with some aluminum foil and pop it in an oven that's been preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius for two hours. After two hours, this is what you're left with. These beautiful, soft, golden garlic cloves. If you want, at this point, you can strain the oil you cooked with out and use that as a roasted garlic cooking oil for later. And what I like to do is when the garlic is cool and ready to store, I pour over a nice olive oil so that will infuse while it's stored without becoming bitter from cooking. You can keep the comfy garlic cloves in your fridge for up to two weeks, use them on toast, add them to dressings, or mix them into a roasted garlic aioli. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification button, and connecting with us on Instagram at chefstudio underscore. 